Hello all, happy new year and welcome to the Smart Exceller. This is a new video on the date formulas. So if you want to know how to resolve some date issues, so if you have downloaded a statement and you can see the dates are in a separate format. Now you can see this, this date over here is in the separate format and this is also a separate format so yeah if you can just try to check this by going and going to the numbers and trying date and trying to resolve this issue you can see this has not been changed so i was trying to do this and I was not able to resolve this so it took me a long time for preparing this and making this a video on this and if even I tried to convert this into power query after the tables still I was not successful so I have, sh I have made a video if it is uh, making this video on this because of this and if you see that this is not just three four transactions if you have more than hundred or thousand transactions to manually do everything changing the dates manually it's going to be a nightmare so what i have done is i got three lessons from this uh, issue one is try to resolve a date negative balances and power query formula so first i'm going to resolve this so here if you want to change the dates you can just you have to do is there is a different format i'm going to delete this first so you just write down date month and year and if you write this date format you can see here it's a separate format here is a separate format and here is a separate format the issue is with this format this format is very rigid and it cannot be changed so try to copy and make this in the same area so it can be useful enough now if you try to write the formulas and you can see you can write day and select this to get a value error but when you try to scroll it down so you can see there is a value error, error here and here the formulas have been taken perfectly so in the same way if you do the month you get the same value error you can see the month so it's taking the months but here is giving value error and here if you can see if you go to year and select this it has the same issues so now to resolve this is the easy part you can just go select this and uh, in from the numbers you can try to change it from the date and all so you can see but this is very rigid so this is very rigid because this to change this you have to have do a different sort of technique so i have tried doing in power query also was not able to do that so what i would did is i just selected this and from here went to data text to columns and from here i just added this and i made this a dot so if it is not there then you will not be able to do this so you always check this and that and it will segregate this next time i'm going to ask it's going to ask for the place so you can select the so you can select this one as a place and then you can do finish so now you can see this has been converted so this is the first first part so you have to do text to columns and date formulas so now after this 
I would like to see this dates merged. So I want this to be merged. So I would I would like to do this in a Power Query instead of writing dates and columns. If this is also one more formula you can do. You can try to merge and copy this, or you can do in Power Query also. So it's up to you. So you can use the formulas together and you can get the answer in here. But if you want to do through Power Query, I'm going to show you that the formulas I'll not be showing in this video. So first select this Control T and data so once this is data is loaded so you can see that the dates are in this if you try to convert this into a date so you can see it's giving an error So now if first let's select this and make this transform this into a whole number type and now I'm going to now I'm going to combine the tables. Merge columns. So I'm going to do a custom. So I'll be using a backslash, and the new will be date one dot. Sorry, date. So now I've got the data. Now I'm going to try this to convert into a date. So you can see again there is a value error over here. So the the best thing you can do is you can close this and. Uh, Go to Excel the create connections. What you can do is you can combine this table in the formulas and you can filter your data and make a pivot table report. But the same thing if you want to do in Power Query, then you have to do something more. So you have to write the M codes. So first I'll be writing this as 1, 2, and this is as Jan. So So I have read this and I want to make this into a table. So I'll do control T. I want to type this as months. So I will go back to the I will take this into the So this was tried with I have tried this and I was not able to get the correct steps. So this was the tried and tested for which I have done. So this means table three. So I can write I will be writing this as uh, main. Now I have the month and the year column. So I'm going to use a merge formula here to do the merge. So I go to home and do a merge query. 
I don't want a new one, so I will be merging in the same one. So I'll be taking this as month and this month series. So this is going to be like a VLOOKUP. So it's getting 66 of 66 selections. So you, need, you don't need to touch anything. So you can see the different options over here. But if the selections are complete, so you can just do is OK. So it's giving a table. So I would not like to keep the month series. I will remove this also. And I will just keep month. So it's given me the month. So let's remove this. And let's merge this again now. Merge columns. They should be segregated by a custom one. So you can put this, or you can put this also. Now let's make this a date. So now it has been done. So now you can see it is been converted into a date. Now this date formula can be used if you want. You can remove this. Make this into a date. And move to the beginning. Now you can make any report from this data. So making a month column now, it has been resolved. So you can select all this by once and you can make this into a decimal number. So there are negative and positive balances here. So my next video I'll be showing you how to make a formula for this or you can just do a easy one also that also i'll show you in the next video so if you want if you're good in power queries or if you're writing good in quotes you can use both so this is the first video i have done on this so next video will be in the balances and formula going wrong so i hope you understood this video and uh, i would like you to subscribe to my channel and uh, uh, wish wait for the next video and please uh, share this video so i have been waiting for this formula i've tried many times and a lot of efforts have been done so i hope you get this video and uh, this report you can is now accessible we can make a power pivot report on this so a pivot table report and see the filters and see the analysis so thanks for watching and let's see you in the next video